Good morning, everyone. My name is Akash Modi. I'm an interventional pulmonologist at Baptist MD Anderson. I would like to take this opportunity to share a brief demonstration of our uh, new technology, robot assisted bronchoscopy, uh, termed as MONAR by ORIS. Uh, it's a Johnson Johnson company, but more importantly, this is a new technology that we have acquired to benefit our patients and community. Please join me in our demonstration. So it starts with a cart, which has the monitor as well as the console. The console comprises of two robotic arms, which helps drive the bronchoscope. I would like to emphasize here that the robot helps drive the bronchoscope. However, it is controlled via a, con a controller and that is held by the provider. And this is extremely important to appreciate. The phenomenal aspect of the technology is actually the scope and the sheet, as demonstrated here. The, abil the phenomenal ability of for it to art articulate uh, to up to 180 degrees is its strength, which are prior technology platforms don't, do not allow, as whenever you pass biopsy tools within the current bronchoscopy technology, they tend to move within millimeters and that could uh, mean a non-diagnostic yield. So let's start the demonstration. We have no difference in airway management for the patient. It starts with a breathing tube for the patient as demonstrated here, and we have a lung model that's colored in red. So now we're gonna start with the controller here. Uh, we have joysticks and other functions, and I'm gonna try and guide everyone uh, as we drive to our target. Now I would like to share some of the features on the screen. On the left here is the bronchoscopic view uh, that is actually constantly present despite you actually having to biopsy the lesion. The bottom right screen here actually shows you uh, a call of duty sign, which means how far you are from the target, which is 3.3 millimeter or 3.3 centimeters here, while you're actually smack in the center of it. It's confirmed with this green light, so you're right aiming for the lesion, so you can start uh, sending your biopsy tools down. This function on the controller pauses uh, the scope, so now the scope will stay immobile, so you can perform your biopsy. Now, why is this technology helpful and beneficial? So the current diagnostic options for lung nodules uh, in the periphery are you have a transthoracic biopsy of the nodule uh, percutaneously or you have bronchoscopic options. Our current bronchoscopic options have some limitations. Um, depending on the size of the lesion and depending on the location of the lesion, the yields could vary. And this becomes a challenge because sometimes we have a significant non-diagnostic yield and the patients may have to go through a second procedure or they start with a procedure that has a higher risk of lung collapse called pneumothorax. So this option provides an opportunity for us to reach and access to real peripheral nodules now um, while being able to biopsy them with more stability given the phenomenal scope that the company's created. More importantly, it's weighed against lower risks and that's the most important balance in medicine, benefits versus risks. And now I think patients have this option um, uh, that they can consider when we're discussing diagnostic options for suspicious lung nodules.